A while ago, I created a tutorial on the GIMP plugin Resynthesizer. And on my website, Tutorial Geek, someone wrote a comment asking if I might explain a bit better everything in that plugin. So I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Resynthesizer. So to start out, we'll go with the basic in removing an element from an image. So here's a picture of me jumping in Valdez, Alaska. This image is going to work really well just because I've got the sky as a background. Uh, we'll go to Filters, Map, Resynthesize. Um, this is something you need to install into GIMP. If so, if you don't have it already, if it doesn't show up, in filters map resynthesize go to the website for resynthesizer uh, there's a link on my website tutorial geek to find that but we'll this is the default setup we'll press ok what it's going to do is it's going to use the surrounding pixels around me and fill in the selection I have so it does a perfect job for this we'll unselect that now I'll show you something else. This bridge and these twigs, uh, we want to get rid of that. It looks kind of goofy. Uh, we'll make it look like I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I guess I kind of am. But uh, we'll open this again. And we've got these options in the output to make horizontally tileable and make vertically tileable. Uh, that means it's going to take pixels either horizontally or vertically and uh, we don't want the pixels above we just want the ones to the side so we're going to unselect this press OK and got rid of the bridge looks really good alright now I'll show you one other thing I'll select everything here but the sky to illustrate this next part of Resynthesizer. Uh, it's got another option for fit output to bordering pixels. I'm going to unselect this to show you what it does. Press OK. And it's going to take a while just because I have so much selected. But basically, what that option does is ask whether or not you want the area around this selection to be consistent or not and since I unselected it you're going to see a, a distinction on the selection it will take this top part and move it right here as you can see um, so not not generally useful for anything I can think of but that's what it does so hopefully that helps explain that a little bit better I'm going to go ahead and select this area that's it does not have a smooth transition so I'm going to check it again and this time it will be smooth so now what it's going to do you can see the pixels right above it's going to match them right below and make it a smooth transition and so this is nice if if you want to do work with the background or for this instance I'm just removing everything but using the sky so you can use that for a texture or a background and so resynthesize is great for doing something like that alright and that does a pretty good job so I'm going to go back and show you um, for textures what we can do for textures so I'm going to crop just my head and use this as an image and create a new image we'll go ahead and make this 300 pixels by 300 pixels and when you do this make sure that you select the window that's the new texture you want to create not the original or it won't work 
so we'll open the plugin again texture source we obviously want it to be the source which is my head texture transfer we'll click this input is going to be the head again and output is the new image now map import importance what this does is the further to the right it is the more it will use the original image or th I'm sorry the less it uses all of the elements and the more smooth it tries to make the texture so if I move it all the way to the left it's going to use more of the original input so I'll press OK to show you what I mean um, this is going to come out kind of goofy looking obviously because it's my face which is kinda goofy anyway but it will illustrate the difference that slider makes okay so you see it's got my face uh, the background's a fairly consistent color and it's got like my mouth and my nose and my eyes it looks really kinda scary actually so I'm going to undo that and we're going to do this again this time I'm going to move the slider over to the right a bit and now what this is going to do is it's going to focus more on consistency and less on using everything in this image so what we'll see show up is more of an actual texture which you could do this if you want to make a background like maybe even a grunge background or something like that to use in graphic design so here it created something and you see it's a fairly consistent color with just a little bit of texture in it and so that's something pretty nice you could do with that uh, to better illustrate another useful purpose of this I will show you this is just a small image of a background of some yellow flowers and now if I wanted to make the background a lot bigger then I could use resynthesizer uh, again I'm going to move this all the way to the left texture source input map make sure that does work um, and tweaks also I'm not going to talk about this much it's fairly self-explanatory as to what it does but uh, resynthesizer is simply amazing it works by using magic it's it's actually absolutely incredible uh, so if you haven't tried it you should definitely try it uh, it's great for making backgrounds removing elements and it does a really really good job so you can see here we've got a small field of flowers and we just made it a lot larger and uh, it looks pretty good so you could use something like this for a blog background or some sort of wallpaper or something but there is the GIMP resynthesizer for you and hopefully I explained everything you wanted to know. Alright, thanks.